Alright, what's up guys? This is basically the only road leading in or out of Chiang Mai right now and it is slam packed. I mean all the way as far as I can see. We had to leave our home um, probably about two hours ago. Uh, the water is coming into our home now. We're just south of uh, town. Um, our shop has been flooded. Everyone's shop has been flooded. It is impassable to get to, to the city. It's almost impossible to get out of the city. Even the crossroads or trying to get to the airport is uh, impossible. It's heartbreaking how bad the floods are. Um, take a look at the flood map, or excuse me, the, the traffic. All the roads in purple are closed. And many of the roads that aren't shown in purple are still closed. Um, but we did have to get the high ground, which we did manage to do. We got us a nice little quiet, cozy spot, 500 baht, electricity, not prone to flooding, not as uh, prone to flooding as where our home is. So a lot of people are having a hard time right now. They're having to evacuate certain hospitals. And about every 10 or 20 minutes, you'll see ambulances running through here. Uh, and it's hard for them to even get around through all the traffic. It is really bad. And many of the hospitals are being evacuated uh, to other, you know, having to move these patients back and forth. So we're gonna walk back to the house or to the, to the hotel here and try to take it easy get us a few beers and enjoy what we can you know everybody's still pretty upbeat no one's at like crying about it even though it sucks and a lot of people have lost everything and we don't even know what type of damage we're looking at but as far as last i know we're talking about waist high water in our shop as of right now and the water is still consistently uh it's consistent but it's still high so we'll see what happens with uh, tonight uh, we'll just see. So I'm going to go ahead and check out of here. We're going to head home. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, made it back to the hotel. Um, we did manage to get us a, a nice little small room, uh, 500 baht per day. Very reasonable price. Many hotels are uh, either booked or out of power, out of water, and people are, like, trying to go at this point. Um... As of right now, they're telling us it's going to be October 10th before the waters really start to subside. But I take all of that with a grain of salt. That depends on many factors. It depends on it whether we get rain here or they get rain up north. A lot of these flood waters that we're getting now are rains that have fallen up. We've all been inundated with rains, but all that stuff has to come down. And that's where we are right now. So one of the roads i showed you uh before this is why you shouldn't go out and play around right now like there's no playing around like you know i shot many videos before uh when the floods were coming up but this was at night there was no traffic but right now the people on the roads need to be on the roads and there has to be a corridor for people to be transported for emergency purposes or people trying to come or leave town you know or equipment or you know food and supplies and things like that coming in so if you're listening to this and you're in Chiang Mai, like don't 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 be on the road unless you have to. Um, you know, for example, you know we have a motorcycle. We just left it. We we just gonna walk. You know, we got a, a little spot here. We're gonna walk everywhere we need to go. There's no point in being on the roads. It's just jam packed anyway. Uh, but all the 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 second and third loops, uh, you know, super highways, if you will, are closed. Uh, many of the major roads are are closed. Anything within two, three kilometers of a river is closed, underwater, or dangerous. It's just not worth going. Uh, yesterday, we tried to go to our shop and damn near lost our scooter. Um, <laughs> like, we, we, you know, I kept driving and it just kept getting deeper and deeper. And actually, Supai would he tell me, hey, I was like, ah, oh, we're good, we're good. And I kept going, that sucker died, man, filled up with water. I pulled off to the side and we fortunately got started again and got out of there and, and went straight home. But as of, you know, early this morning and late last night, the water started rising towards our home. Our home is sandbagged along with all of our neighbors, but it's coming up through the ground. It's coming up through the grass. Um, it's coming up through the, the, the drainage systems and stuff. Like it's starting to, to rise and eventually we're gonna lose power and water. Like. Uh, when I decided to leave the home is when I went to flush the toilet. When I flush the toilet, and it's just like, that's how bad it is. Um, so losing power, losing water, and being stranded in uh, like flooding waters is a bad situation, especially if it's hot, you know. 
this is not a good situation for a lot of people, especially the elderly and whatnot. So we did decide to leave. Um, I do want, you know, I want a nice bed. I don't want to sit here. Like we're already stressed and worried. As of right now, our business is flooded. We don't know how bad it is. Uh, we've we've got some neighbors and friends that have local businesses, like ne like right around it, like nearby. Um, as of right now, I don't know the depth, but the water is still high, and it could go higher. So I don't want to even say anything. But as as of right now, we're thinking waist deep, waist deep, and like you can't even get to it. Like the waters, the the roads to get to it are chest deep, chest deep at this point. You know, they're out doing rescues on boats and stuff. There's no point. There's no way to get to it if we wanted to. I mean, unless we had a freaking boat. Um, the waters have crested as of right now. And fortunately, we've had two days with no rain so far. So keep our fingers crossed. Things will start to subside. And eventually, we'll be able to get in and see the damage. But as of right now, our business is flooded. Our home is near flooding. We're gonna to try to be optimistic. You know, everyone is pretty optimistic here. That's the thing about Thailand, it's weird. It's like, it, even though people are losing things and people are struggling and things are getting ruined, people don't really um, sit here and fret and cry about stuff. You know, they just kind of accept it and they just pick up their, their, their toys and they, you know, they move, they don't move on, but they just, they, they just clean it up and they just pick up where they left off. You know what I mean? And no one's, really has a like they're very optimistic so i want to be optimistic even though i haven't slept hardly for three days uh watching this uh, all unfold you know of course my my life is here you know at this point it's hard to watch all of this but you know i don't just think about myself i don't just think about supawadi i think about everyone you know many of these people are, are like not only are their businesses getting uh, punished, but they're not able to work and make money. And you know the music doesn't stop; the bills come due. You know, we had to pay our bill yesterday, our rent for our shop, even though it, it's closed. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard. These are just things I'm talking about. Like they're like, but this is not just me. I can't be selfish about this. None of us can. But I want to be optimistic. Things are. Um, you know pretty bad right now but we're hoping that you know the rain holds off the waters start to subside and we are approach we're in october now which is good news because this is the end of the rainy season so it should moderately get better like over the next few weeks or you know i would say in the next few weeks to by the end of this month rain is going to be finished and beautiful weather and honestly for those of you that want to come to Chiang Mai I think that it's still a great idea this place will clean up very fast even though there's a lot to clean up I think this is the most resilient people I've ever seen in my life these people are so resilient I believe that once the waters go down I would say within a week you won't even notice you won't even notice hardly I mean people will have everything clean the streets will be cleaned it's just that people will be back open for business like nothing even happened. This is a once in a lifetime flood. So I want to be fair and go on the record and say that we broke all records um, at the Nara Bridge. It was uh, 4.94 meters. We hit we're sitting at 5.29 right now, 5.29 meters as of right now. And it's kind of come up a little bit, but it's kind of holding steady. But we don't know what's being released up, up you know, upstream. That's the problem. So. It could go higher. Hopefully it doesn't. It's already way beyond the record from uh, 2011. So this is a once in a lifetime flood for everyone here. You hear the ambulances I talked about before. You remember I talked about that when I was at 7-Eleven. The ambulance is coming through. The roads are stacked full and they're having to move patients from hospitals to other hospitals. And they're, they've, they've been doing this back and forth all day well, for the last you know several days so stay off the damn roads if you don't have to be on the road seriously stay off the roads i love you guys uh shout out from uh chiang Ma. keep us in your thoughts and prayers and i'll see you on the next one